I'm going to make this little bathing suit. We're using the red heart, uh, and is, this color is called bikini. And we're going to use a size G hook. And uh, I've chained 32 stitches here. So chain 32 stitches, and then we're going to double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Do. Okay, so you're going to double crochet each stitch all the way across. You'll have 30 stitches when you're done. And then once we're done with this first row, we'll come back and, and start the next row. So we'll start like that. We're at the end of row one. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to turn it and you're going to double crochet in each stitch. There is 30 stitches total. You're going to double crochet and we're double crocheting in the back loops. Go in this back loop here. So just keep doing that all the way across in, in the back loops. And this way it forms a ridge. Let's see. Okay, when you're through with this, we'll uh, chain three, turn, and we'll come back. Okay, so we've chained three and turned. We're going to double crochet in these four stitches. We're going to make them into two. So we're going to decrease at the beginning and at the end of each row. So we're going to go in the back loops, pull through. You got uh, three on, leave them on. Go in the next stitch, pull through. You got four on. Yarn over, come through three. Yarn over, come through two. That made uh, a single stitch. So yarn over, go through the next one. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, three and two. Now those become two stitches. You'll continue doing this all the way across of a double crochet, just double crochet now all the way across. And um, once we get to the end, we'll do the same thing that we just did. We will decrease the last four stitches and we'll be back to do that. Okay, so we're at the end of row three and we have four stitches left. We're going to decrease again, going in the back, bring it through. You got three, go back in the next stitch. You got four, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. Doing the next, whoops, okay, next stitch. So you got two stitches you're going to pull through three and pull through two so this is got it's going to start shaping the the suit so you should have 26 stitches on row three we're going to chain three and go to row four chain three turn we'll start on row four and um we'll do the keep doing the same thing on each row take four stitches, decrease, and make them two, beginning and the end of the row, and you do that for row three, or row four, and row five. And uh, you should have 26 stitches now here, then you will have uh, 22 stitches, then 18, and we'll come back. Here's our fifth row done, and uh, we have 18 stitches now. So we chain three, we turned. We're going to decrease this now. This is going to be row six. We're going to decrease this uh, three times. So we're going to go in once and twice. And we're going to go through the three and then the two. So that's one time. Going in the next one and the next one. Go through the three and then two. 
Well, that's twice. Now we're going to do a third time. Got three on there. Pick up another stitch four. Go through the three. Pull the two. Now you've done six stitches. You've made them into three. You'll finish this over and you will do the same over here when you get to the three. Uh, the last six stitches, make them three stitches. And then chain three and uh, we'll come back and do that uh, seventh row after this. Okay, so we've chained three and we're going to do row eight. Do the same thing. There's six stitches left and we're going to go into this. Not this stitch, but this stitch. Always go into the next one um, from the chain. So we're going to do two, two and we're going to make that into one stitch. Going into one stitch there. We got three. Go on the next stitch. That's four. Come through the three. Come through the two. And do the same thing on this. So when you get done, this was 12 stitches now. Uh, you had uh, six to go into and it's come down to three. You're going to chain You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to turn and you're going to just double crochet in all three uh, all three stitches. It's one, two, and three. Okay, so that was the ninth row. We chain three. This is going to be our tenth row. We're going to turn it. We're going to two double put two double crochets in each row in each stitch. So it'll start fanning out across the back. Okay, so two in there. two in the second stitch, all right, and two in the third stitch. So that'd be six on this starting going up the back. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to double crochet in each stitch across, so that's going to be six and we make sure we get this so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we don't go in this one, we go in the next one. So there's one, two, and there's two more in that same stitch. Two more, a third stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, this makes it ten. And always make sure you get this last stitch that is the top of the third chain, which is sometimes hard to get into. So we finally got into that last stitch. Put a double crochet in there. Okay, 
So that gives you now um, 12. So you have 6 and then 12. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do uh, 18. Uh, we're going to chain. Three, we're gonna double crochet in each stitch. Oh well, in the first um, three stitches, I believe. Let's see. So we're gonna add six to the twelve that we have. So that's one, two, three. Oh no, sorry. You put two in each, so that'll be two in three stitches the beginning two and three stitches at the end so that's one stitch two stitch two and two and two and three then you'll double crochet the next few stitches in the middle these and when you come to the last three stitches including this third chain you'll put two in this, two in this one, two in this one, so that's three. That'll give you 18 stitches. And once you're done, chain three, turn it, and we'll come back and do the next row. Okay, so we finished row 13, we chain three, and we turned. Now we're going to do row 14, and we're going to double crochet in the first two stitches. So we'll be adding uh, increasing. There's one, two, so we're going to be adding four stitches. You're going to finish stitching across here in just double crochets. When you get to the last four stitches, do two in each, I mean the last uh, two stitches. You're going to do, uh, increase two double crochets in each of those last two stitches. And then that'll give you a total uh, of 26 stitches. And we'll come back and go on to the next row. Okay, so we're going to do the next row. And we're going to increase again. So we're going to put two double crochets in the first two stitches. So that's one, two. And we'll double crochet all the way across and in the last two stitches put two in one, two in, or two in one, two in the next one. Okay, we finished row 16, so we're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to turn it and you're going to double crochet in each stitch in the back all the way across and it'll have 30 stitches so we're not going to increase this row. Um, this will just be straight across 30 stitches and then when we're done we'll come back and we'll start on the bodice of the swimming suit. So just keep doing that and um, just 30 stitches across. Uh, we're starting on the bodice now. So we attach the yarn, chain three, and then we've been double, double crocheting in each stitch. And we're going to do that across to the end. And the last um, four stitches we're going to decrease. So uh, when you get to the last four stitches, we'll come back and show you how to do that. So we're down to the last four stitches. So we're going to uh, double crochet into this one, leave the stitches on, double crochet into this one. You'll have four, come through three, come through two. So we just did a decrease. Last two stitches, same thing. Leave it on, come through the next one. 
come through three, come through two. Well, we forgot to do one other thing before we did that. Okay. Sorry, forget. We're going to pick up this back. So in the last two stitches, you are going to go in, leave them on, go into the next one, But you're going to pick up the back one before you bring it through. You can bring it through. You have four on. Come through three, come through two. And that attaches this, uh, the front. And then you will go in the next stitch and double crochet. And you'll keep doing that all the way across those 30 stitches. like this. Now this side here we're going to uh, sew this up later. This little tiny bit. Just this one row and we'll attach that up later. So just keep doing this across to the end and when we get here we'll pick up the other back and uh, we'll come back to show you how to do that. And we've gone through the across the row we're going to do this last stitch and we're going to pick up the back. So we're going to yarn over, go through this last stitch and through the chain, the top of the chain on the other side. You're going to come through it. We're going to go through. Two of these and then two more. That will hook it together. Now we're going to go in this um, back part and we're going to do a uh, decrease. So we're going to go in once, go in the next one. You've got four on, going to go through three, going to go through two. Next decrease, the next stitch, go through this one. Next stitch, pull up, you got four on go through three, go through two. And that takes up the last two stitches we needed to. Then you'll just single or double crochet in each stitch all the way across to meet here. You'll put a slip stitch in this chain here, third chain from the top, and then we'll come back and do the next row. Okay, we um, slip stitched into that third chain. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and there is now 56 stitches on here. So you're just going to go around in each um, double crochet and double crochet in every stitch all the way around. And when you get uh, to the back, you're going to uh, slip stitch again into the top of this third chain and you're going to repeat this uh, for several rows. I don't know how many right now but I'm going to put it right here at the top so you'll know exactly how many we're going to do. Once we're done with that amount of rows we'll come back and we'll do the straps. Okay, so we finished this. We did six uh, rows total to finish the bodice. So this is how it looks on And next we'll do the little straps to go up here and over. We finished um, the one strap so we could show you. We made two little ties and instead of sewing this up we just ran a tie through each side to tie that down like this. And we're going to do this uh, second strap to show you how to do it. So I've marked it here. Um, it's one over from underneath the arm or right next to the arm. So we're going to do this. 
and we're going to come in and do seven stitches over. We're going to single crochet. So we're going to go in Take me a minute to get it started here. Okay, so we attach the yarn, single crochet. I'm going to in both loops for the first row. Single crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five. six and seven All right. so you're going to chain one you're going to turn it and then you're going to do this for a total of seven rows so that's row one so we're going to do six more rows of just single crochet and this time we're going to start in the back loops and we'll continue that uh, from now on we just attached it in the front but the we're going to do the back now so single crochet in the back loops for another this is uh one row two so we're going to finish this row and then we'll do it another five times we want a total of seven that's before we start increasing and decreasing so just continue doing this over and we'll be back we've done seven rows of seven stitches now we're going to chain one on the eighth row we're going to turn it we're going to single crochet to the end that's one two three four oops, four and five now we're going to decrease so six we're going to go in And seven, we're going to go in and pull through all three. So that makes it two stitches. So now we'll have six stitches on here. I'm going to chain one, turn, and do the same thing here. But this time we want our decreases on the uh, outside by the arm. So we're going to put it in once, pull it through, twice, pull it through. And that's another decrease. So now we should have uh, five on the five left on that. So we're going to do that single crochet and just keep going to the rest of it. And then we'll come back and do the next uh, couple of rows. So chain one, turn, and we'll be back. We're going to do row 10. All right. So we're already chained one. We're going to turn it. And we're going to single crochet in the first three stitches. So there's one, two, three. And the last two stitches. We're going to do them together. So we're going to decrease single crochet. So that takes up another one. <clears throat> now we're going to chain one, you're going to turn, and you're going to single crochet in all four stitches. There's no increase or no decrease. And when we get done with that, we'll be back. Okay, we're going to do rows 12. And I uh, chained one turn, so we're going to single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. We're going to 
put two. We're going to increase now, so we're going to put two in this, uh, and that brings us up to the five. And chain one, turn, and in row 13, we're going to do single crochet. Well, we'll do we'll do two in this one because we want to increase. So we're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet four stitches across. So one, two, three, and four. So that starts, you've got all your increases on this side and next to the arm. And it has to spread out here and then go up over the shoulder and then it'll start spreading out to fill the back too. So uh, that was uh, uh, 12 and 13 and we'll come back and uh, uh, go to the next row. Okay, This is row 14 and I've uh, chained one and turned it. And on row 14 this will be our last increase. So we're going to go across uh, five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. This last stitch here, the sixth stitch, we are going to put two single crochets in there. Just gonna find it back there. Oops, that's not it. Okay, so we're going to put two in here. And that way we're back to the seven, chain one. Now we're going to take rows uh, 15 to 19. You're going to just do single crochets all the way across. There's seven stitches, and you'll do a row uh, 15. 16, 17, 18, and 19. Once you're done, we'll come back of just uh, single crochets in all seven stitches, and then we'll hook it to the back, and we'll show you how to do that. So we found the place on the back. Uh, from the front, we found the place to put it in. So all we're doing is slip stitching the front and the back. So we're going in the back and then we find the matching and we just pull it through and pull it through again. We don't single crochet it, we just slip stitch it is all we're doing. Just keep doing that. One thing about this yarn, it definitely splits, so I've had a little trouble with it. All right, so the last one, I'm going to go in here, find that stitch, and then slip stitch it. So it's easy to put it on that way, and it also leaves a little. Uh, like a little ridge there too. So then we're just gonna uh, tie that off. So anyway, that's how it turned out. Took me a while to figure it out, but I did. And um, you can put these little ties if you want on it. And um, we just uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and if you like these videos please click and uh, click like and subscribe and uh, we'll be back to bring you more videos thank you